by the way guys this is my string apart and uh, I think you saw that already and it has a lot of growth so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut all of these new ones because it looks like look at this this one is a really nice big leaves and then you, when it becomes long it becomes little leaves so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it and uh, so that the mother leaves will have time to make more branches and uh, so I think I'm just gonna show you how I cut it so you won't get um, you will not be nervous on cutting your string apart so let's just cut it it's time to cut mother earth mother plants I know I should be saying mother plants I'm just playing okay let's let's do some cutting here are you ready guys okay I'm ready I just woke up and I feel like cutting so this is what you do when you woke up sometimes and all you need to do is to cut your whatever plants that is a little bit expensive <laughs> uh, I always say uh, I will not dare to cut this but all right I'm just gonna cut it this is my heartless day because I just want to cut my expensive plant there so it's having a haircut day and this is your hair haircut day it's it's time for can you see how long is it oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah by the way can you see that that's our camper we go camping on the summer well that's what american do they go camping on the summer when i was in the philippines we don't even go camp on the summer who would think about camping on the on the summer you will die from the humidity <laughs> no you will not die i know but literally you're just gonna die from the humidity okay this is like at 12 inches guys and then let's go over here and then cut the mother sucker don't say mother sucker is bad okay let's go over here over here over there no one wants to know don't say something bad okay there I have to do the cutting today um, most of the time I have this really spongy heart that I cannot cut a leaves of my plant but today Ursula is awake so Ursula will cut any plants you will give her there. You guys, you know Ursula, right? Who doesn't know Ursula? Should I cut it over here? Oh, oh no, Ariel is waking up. She doesn't want to cut anymore. Let's just cut now or else Ariel will be awake. She won't want to cut any tiny parts of this plant she's waking up guys 
she doesn't want to cut anymore okay let's let's just cut here almost done uh oh plenty of things almost done there wow I cut every single thing how about this one let's cut it so by the way while we are um, just cutting things here there you go should I cut this one I can cut that thing oh my god the mother plants doesn't have anything anymore because Ursula is cutting every single thing so guys um, you know who is Ursula the the witch octopus on Ariel the mermaid Ariel the mermaid you know who is Ariel the mermaid guys if you watch um, Disney cartoonish yeah. so plenty huh I make mother plants bold here so guys what do you think did I overcut it or I undercut it well I think I did well. Mom or Sula did well, okay? Think what is this? Should I cut this one? Oh my god. She's cutting guys. She's cutting everything. Okay, there. And then should I cut this one? She's gonna do every single aisle of this, every single inch of this plan. Okay, there you go. And then the most variegated one is over there, and it's over here. Look at the sun just came out. And it's really showing how cute is this plant. Oh no, why did I cut it? It's so cute. Oh, should I still cut this one? Hmm. I think I'm gonna cut it. Should I? Well, I'll just cut it. Oh no, don't. Uh -oh. <sighs> hey guys, uh, happy 4th of July. Today is the 4th of July? Oh no, really? Today is the 4th of July. So... If you are inviting some Filipinos in your neighborhood, in your house, um, I'm gonna give you a tip to keep a friendship with the Filipinos, guys. Filipinos and Filipinas. If you invite them in your house, please have a um, few bowls of rice guys i mean few bowls of cooked rice not the that not the um cheapo box rice guys i'm just telling you you're gonna lose friendship with the filipino people if you just give them a you know the costco one cup rice the inset one cup rice 
this is just a tip they do not want a one cup rice they want <laughs> they <laughs> not they we want filipino ones a bowl of rice that you put on a rice cooker so cook if you have two filipinos or one filipino just put a bowl of rice in the middle of the table okay and this filipino person will be your best friend and it's not a joke i am serious about this so most of my co-worker they don't invite me anymore in their house <laughs> because i don't want to go there to their house too they make me this uncle or grandpa ben um, instant rice and they think that i will be happy and then when they invite me to their house i will say no i'm too busy um, um they, they will say mar do you want to come to my house we have some gathering i will just say no no uh i'm too busy <laughs> So when a Filipino, by the way, say that to you, let's say you invite them one day in your house and then the other month you invite them again and they will say, no, I'm too busy. They're giving excuses. That means they did not like your rice or they did not like the food you, you uh, prepare for them. And please, please guys, do not prepare a finger food we filipino never give a finger food to a real filipino finger food is a no-no it will cost a breakup of friendship you know finger food uh celery is a finger food okay celery a piece of this uh, stupid uh, cheese oh no that stupid cheese cheese with those stupid crackers oh no that's a no-no finger food for filipino give them a, a bowl of you know egg um what do you say it uh lumpia Lumpia. Okay. I keep on talking. I forgot that I already decapitated the mother plants here. Okay, so that's what happened to my plants. And then this is the pl this, this is the other things that uh should we just throw it away? This is the other things that I got from my string of heart. So about uh, the finger food guy, because I have to finish my uh, story here. About the finger food, do not give them a cracker guys. It's a, it's a slap on the face of, to the Filipino. Giving them a cracker with a, with, a, uh, with a cheese. It's like you slap a Filipino to the face. Give them lumpia. If you don't know how to do lumpia, give them a... a a bowl of rice and um, and then just barbecue some uh, some no I don't like steak though we don't like steak so much but we like pork ribs give them pork rib uh, barbecue and then that's all put a salt on the middle and a vinegar that's all you will keep a Filipino happy and it will be your best friend forever so that's the tip for today and uh, I already decapitate 
my string apart I think it will be happy because it got a hair trim can you see how beautiful it is it's so pretty and this one is also white it's already white and um, okay I'm just gonna go and throw this one where is that and then guys that's what I got and then that's it I want you to um, enjoy your uh, 4th of July and uh, that's it uh, thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time.